Welcome to the tutorial for customizing your database layout in Sage Act 2013. By the end of this video, you will be able to define a new field and add it to your layout. Before editing your database, it is recommended that you take a backup. Log in to Sage Act as an administrative user. To define fields, all other users must be logged out of the database. To begin defining fields, go to Tools, Define Fields. If you're creating a field that will contain a drop-down list, you must create this first. Click Manage Drop-down Lists. Create drop-down list. Give the list a name. Choose what type of list it will be. If you're unsure, leave it as character. With both boxes checked, users will be able to edit the list on the fly and any new values typed into the field will automatically be added to the list. Add your drop-down list values and finish. Select the area in which you want to create a new field. Click Create New Field. Give the field a name. Choose the type of information the field will hold. Select the appropriate options. To use the drop-down list created earlier, place a check in Use Drop-down list and select the list. The next steps of the wizard will differ depending on what options have been chosen. For example, a currency field will prompt you for decimal preferences, where a character field may ask for a character limit. Finish the wizard to create the field. Note that it is not yet visible on your layout. Now we will edit the layout to add the field. Other users do not need to be logged out when editing layouts. Go to Tools, Design Layouts. Choose which layout to edit. The Layout Designer appears. Firstly, we must decide where we want to add the field. If you want to create a new tabbed area, go to Edit, Tabs and create one here. To place the field onto the layout, click on Field from the toolbox. Note that the cursor changes to a crosshair. Click and drag to draw the field onto the layout. When you let go of the mouse, you will be prompted to select a field. Click Add and the field is added to the layout. It should be noted that fields can only be added to a layout once. Also note that some fields such as picture fields have their own option in the toolbox. Press F4 to show or hide the properties window. This allows you to edit nearly every aspect of the field, such as text color. Save your layout and exit the designer. Act refreshes and the new field is shown. It is possible to have multiple layouts which can be selected from this drop-down. This selection is specific to each Act user. This is useful if, for example, you have a sales-orientated user and want to design a layout that shows them all the sales information, where another user might just want contact information. Congratulations! You have defined a new field and added it to your layout.